Hello, and welcome to assignment prep video number one, Writing the Abstract for COM 600 students, Academic Writing for Graduate School, here at the University of Maryland University College. Hi, I'm David Taylor, your host, and today we're going to talk about writing this thing right here, the abstract. The abstract is exactly what it says. Your goal in writing an abstract is literally to abstract or extract the essential information from the things that you read. Now your goal in this assignment number one, writing the abstract, is twofold. Goal number one is to analyze the things that you read so that you can extract or abstract from them their four essential ingredients. And those four essential ingredients are, number one, their purpose and objective their thesis, their goal, their reason for being, the overall point, the gist, the kernel, their purpose and objective, being able to abstract it and express it in one sentence of your own. Next thing you're going to be looking for is the methods that that scholar used to study his or her subject, or perhaps the experimental methods that the experimenter used to conduct the experiment. The third thing you're going to look for is the results. In other words, what did that scholar find when he or she studied? What did that researcher find when he or she conducted that experiment? And then the fourth thing, what were the conclusions or inferences drawn by that scholar or that researcher based upon his or her study and experiment? So you're going to find those four things in an article that you're going to read, and you're going to express them in a clear, concise, well-written abstract. Your second goal is, of course, to practice that writing, because you're going to be writing as well as reading abstracts throughout your graduate career here at UMUC. Now, to help you with this assignment, I want to take you to our classroom and show you some of the materials that I want you to make sure that you take a look at. The first thing I want you to take a look at is in the conferences. In the second thread, I have posted three links for you, and I want you to take a look particularly at this link right here from the University of Mississippi Writing Center. When you go there, you're going to find that they describe two kinds of abstracts the descriptive abstract, and that's a one or two sentence summary. That's not what you're writing. That's what you sometimes see in shortened abstracts and bibliographic databases. What you're going to be writing is the informative abstract. The informative abstract in APA is about 250 words long. It's written in a block paragraph, and that means no indention. It's a small but important detail because as a graduate student, as a researcher, you have to establish your credibility by paying attention to details. And one of the details you want to pay attention to is block paragraphing, no indention in the abstract. So take a look at that website from the University of Mississippi. You'll also see a list here of four other things to look at. And believe me, if you simply write one or two or three sentences about each of those things right there, put those sentences together with transitions, you'll have a great abstract. Now something else that I've posted for you in the classroom, if you look under the content section, here is the actual article that you're going to abstract. It's called Workplace Communication. It's a big PDF, but scroll down and look at this information at the bottom of the page. This is the information that you're going to use to write your citation your APA reference citation. Now, I want you to use format number one, journal with a DOI, for your reference citation format. And you can find that in your APA 6th edition style manual. One last thing that I want you to look at, and this is also in the uh, content section, I have given you full assignment instructions, just like the ones in this video, but more importantly, right here, I have given you a model or a template to follow. 
Now listen, whenever a teacher or a supervisor gives you a model or a template to follow, whether it's a memo template or an employee evaluation template, you need to follow that template exactly because that's what that supervisor or that's what that teacher wants back is that template. So notice your template here versus the title of your assignment. Then comes your reference citation following that reference format number one, journal with a DOI. Then comes your 250 word block paragraph with that is well written and concise. One more last point and I'll let you go. Never be or never let your supervisor or your teacher be the second person to read something you have written. You're always the first person. In between you and that person doing the evaluating, the supervisor or the teacher, put somebody else to help you proofread. Never let the teacher or the supervisor see it after you because listen, it is 100% impossible for an author to 100% proofread their own work accurately. You just can't do it. Psychologically, it's impossible for you to proofread your own work accurately. Put somebody in between yourself and that teacher and that supervisor. Have them read what you've written. Have them read it out loud and just circle the things that they have questions about. You do that and I guarantee that your writing will improve quite a bit. Okay, as usual, if you have any questions about this assignment, don't hesitate to contact me. Remember, it is assignment number one, writing the abstract, and it is due this Sunday, the end of August. Okay, good luck on it.